If you are in urgent need of suicide prevention, meaning you cannot watch this video, call immediately, do not delay. Call in the US 1-800-273-8255 or text START, S-T-A-R-T, 741-741. In Canada and nationwide, you can call 911. And globally, you can visit suicide.org. Do it right now if you cannot watch the rest of this video. Hi, my name is Susan Williams. And I wanna to talk to you briefly about addictions and abusive relationships. So I know personally that Choosing to walk out the door and away from an abuser or even getting them to leave is seldom as easy as it sounds. You'll have people say, why don't you just leave? Or why don't you just kick them out? Not an easy thing to do, especially if you have children involved. Coming to a place of calm after this is no easy task. Survivors often experience feelings of guilt and shame after leaving. You don't have to hate that person to leave them. This can be a person who is abusive even to themselves with drugs or alcohol or any kind of addiction they may have that has destroyed the relationships with the people that they love. There are so many factors that can play into these types of situations. Lost jobs, affairs, emotional or physical abuse, abuse of a partner or even the children. In any of these cases, it is still difficult to come to a decision to leave. You can feel torn between feeling angry, sad, afraid of your future, as well as even the person you're leaving. You know, you could even be worried about them, but you can't stay. Even if you're the person with the addiction and you are watching yourself destroy your life and your family, but you can't seem to stop. I've watched it. And my heart goes out to you. Or maybe you're the person who's watching your loved one be completely overpowered by the addictions. Maybe you're the one who's trying to hold it all together. And if there is kids involved struggling with the fear of if you leave will your children survive visitation with this other person when you're not around <sighs> these cases can be the most devastating and lengthy times in court proceedings depending on the age of the children and the details of the situation the most important thing is the safety and emotional well being of all involved. Believe it or not, there are ways to get through these difficult times. I've done it. I've done it. And me and my kids are both survivors. And it can be done. The brain sweep skills. will lessen the stress and give you all the ability to go forward in any relationship in your future, even for your children. So I'm here to help you along with a team of coaches who will train you in these techniques through these difficult times. So you and your children can go forward with the hope and optimism for the next chapter in your life.
I specialize in these difficult relationships, in these difficult situations. And I encourage you to get help and get support for these times for you and your family. Now I want to introduce you to Karen, who will teach you the first two techniques of the three to help you through these difficult times. And then I'll be back to work with you on the third one. Hi, my name is Karen Stavard. I am the originator of the brain sweep systems that are renowned for eliminating the symptoms of PTSD and other forms of trauma and hyper anxiety, and to do so without the use of medication. As a professional, I have been doing this work for my clients for around the globe for over 35 years. Today, I'm using the Brain Sweep system to help you to permanently close the door to suicide. Every human being needs to do this process. Even if you do not believe that you do, the reason is simple. Every human being has learned to learn from experience. If you have ever heard or read of anyone dying from suicide, then your mind has learned that humans can get desperate enough to kill themselves. If you've ever seen an animal lose someone that the animal loves more than anything, to the point that the animal simply quits eating and quits drinking water and then quits sleeping until the animal finally dies, then you have definitely learned that love can lead to severe loss. The pain of that loss can end the will to live. If you watch the news on TV, then you have seen stories of people in so much emotional pain that they have killed their own family and then committed suicide. You need to understand that the minute your mind heard these stories, your mind immediately made suicide an option that can be chosen. Not even your religion can protect you if you are feeling dark enough to drown out the idea that you are loved by your God. Sadly, the silence surrounding suicide only adds on to the likelihood that a human will not reach out to others before it is too late. And saddest of all for so many families and so many friends. It is a huge misperception and a total fallacy that only mentally ill people choose to commit suicide. There are good people who want to die. There are also good people who simply do not want to live with the pain of living anymore. Any human being can lose the will to keep trying to survive the pain of living. Please listen to this fact. When a human is suffering, the chemicals produced in the body can literally overwhelm the mind's capacity to make the right choice. <clears throat> That is precisely why every human being needs to choose to care enough for you and for your loved ones to take the precaution of closing the door to suicide. If you are suffering right now or feeling numb or already enraged enough to be seeing this video because you are already wanting to use suicide to end your pain, then I'm asking you to please listen. I'm asking you, please try. Please try to stay alive long enough to finish this video. Understand this. You have a right as a human being to have this chance to get you free of the chemistry that has led you to feeling desperate enough to simply want to be done with trying. You deserve this opportunity. You deserve the opportunity to know you will, how you will feel after you try to do the brain sweep technique. Know this, brain sweep technique will immediately help you to reduce the negative chemicals 
that are negatively affecting your thinking. Brain Sweep uses neurokinesis to intensify the positive effect of working with the brain instead of the mind. Brain Sweep teaches you to apply a simplistic form of neurokinesis to effectively train your brain how to direct your body to immediately respond rather than react. Responding produces the chemicals that always reduce the brain to body demand to produce the chemical change that prompt reactive states of self isolation and other negative forms of survivalism. Simply put, what this really says, neurokinesis does for the brain what acupressure can do for the body. That is why Brain Sweep will enable you to eliminate the feeling of needing or wanting to harm you or punish you. Please try to understand this. This is not a criticism of you. Negative reactive states can produce serious chemical changes that can lead anyone's mind to mistakenly thinking that suicide is the only answer that makes sense. Thinking that way does not mean that you are mentally ill. It does mean that you're experiencing a harmful reactive state. In a minute, you and I will do a simple brain sweep technique that will immediately reduce all of the painful thoughts and pain-filled feelings that are making you feel anxious or depressed or worse. Brain Sweep uses a simple pattern of touch that prompts all of the organs in your body to respond together instead of reacting. Brain Sweep will use your own touch to trigger your neurons to produce a response that will eliminate the reaction that causes anxiety states. With practice, meaning with the consistent use of the brain sweep system, the brain, your brain, can be taught by you how to use the brain sweep response technique to gain the immediate access to profound insight that permanently relieves any and all forms of the self-deception or the misperception that leads to suicide. Let's begin. Today, you will learn three things to do the second that you feel any form of negative stress. Step one, now I'm going to teach you a tool that you can choose to use whenever you feel bad, whenever you are sad and or anxious. It even helps with depression and rage. And please understand, and please listen to this proven fact. The more often that you choose to use this technique in your daily life, the more your brain learns to use the technique to produce the chemicals that instantly and naturally enable humans to feel much better much sooner. You will instantly be much more in control of your emotions and your feelings. Let's begin now, please. Now, you can sit down or you can stand up. You can even do this technique lying down but you can't keep driving or doing anything like that. Now, just find a focal point on the wall or surface in front of you. Imagine a single dot and focus on the dot, real or imagined. And then stare at the center of the dot. Now, hold that stare and without turning your head, move your eyes only to the right and hold. Then move your eyes back to the center. Focus again on the center of the dot and hold. Now, without turning your head, turn your eyes only to the left and hold. Then back to the center. Now, simply lower your eyes if you want to relax more and simply think of a time when you were really enjoying yourself. 
Now, it can be any time, anywhere, any age. Whether you are younger or when you are older, it does not matter. Just pick a time, a memory of when you are laughing, really laughing, really feeling good while you are laughing. When you're having such a good time, either you, yourself, were alone or with others, but having a good time. Or simply imagine a time like that as if you were acting in a movie. Imagine, pretend, or remember. Laughing very hard. From deep inside you. And having so much fun getting everyone around you to laugh as well. Now feel that time in your body. Let the laughter come forward now. Just to laugh as if it's happening right here, right now. Remember, you're laughing so hard that tears are streaming down your face. Think again about how you couldn't even look at your friends without laughing harder. Now, think about trying to tell someone else why you're laughing so hard. Why you're laughing so hard. But you can only laugh harder as your voice squeaks and your nose snorts from the laughter coming through every cell of your body. Good. It feels so good just to let go and truly laugh so hard. You can even let go and let more tears stream down your face as you simply let go and let yourself truly laugh out loud without holding anything back. Hear the sound in your mind. Feel the movement in your body. Feel how good it feels. You simply feel free to have a moment, your moment, where nothing else matters except for feeling this happy, this good, this complete. Please notice how this moment has changed how you're feeling. Now you can even increase the thrill of laughing to the point where no sound can manage to come out. Feel magnified times 10 because you're laughing so hard deep inside. Feel the release. You can laugh out loud. Feel the release and the relief. And take a deep breath and continue smiling with each and every muscle in your face. And recalling how good it feels to feel free enough to actually laugh. Now you know with a certainty that you can use this process that's called the laughing technique anytime. And every time that you feel depressed or down, any time that you feel sad or enraged, any time you're numb and empty, feeling too alone, too isolated, any time that you do not care enough about you or other people, you now know, you know how to bring yourself back to a better place simply using the laughter technique. The laughter technique can always work for you and your brain. If sometimes your mind is in the way and you find it hard laughing or even think about wanting to laugh, go ahead and actually pretend to laugh because the brain responds to it. And within seconds, sometimes minutes most, you'll feel the smile start and you'll feel the laughter start. That's all it takes is get it started and the chemistry that you need to feel good starts being produced. Please make a commitment to you to use this laughing technique every single day, two or three times a day or as often as you need to. You can't do it too long or too often, especially in the beginning if you've been feeling really sad and depressed or if you don't feel well or you feel enraged or angry and you just can't seem to keep going, use it every few minutes. Just keep it going. You can even go on YouTube and places like that and get pictures and watch uh, pictures that are funny and collect them. 
and jokes and those type of things. Anything that will make you laugh or even smile. On the really tough days, you can even use the laughing technique every single hour of every single day until you no longer feel any form of depression or sadness or rage or sorrow ever again. Make a commitment to you to do this. Commit to your commitment right here, right now, please. Say to yourself, I will smile and use the laughing technique the second I need to. I will never allow myself to start getting depressed and then let it keep on getting depressed or start feeling rage and let my rage grow. From now on, I'm stepping up and I'm going to immediately start using the laughing technique. And I can go online, I can find BrainSuite website, I can get the help I need to laugh. Okay? Now keep that commitment to you. Keep the good feeling, because now we're going to do step number two together. You are ready to learn step number two next. I'm going to begin by reading something to you. And now I'm simply asking that you sit back and relax as much as you can in this moment. And simply close down your eyes and listen. Listen to every single word I use to help you help yourself. I'm speaking to the brain. Please allow yourself to listen and hear how you can finally, truly end all of your deepest pain. I'm asking you to imagine or dream of a safe room that you built for yourself. A room just for you where you are perfectly safe. A place that you are happy to have as your room. As a room to return to whenever you want to and whenever you need to. Please just picture yourself in your room, in your mind. Create that picture. Feel safe there, comfortable, listening, and relaxing. Please listen to each and every word from inside of your deepest parts of you. I know there are times when your life seems so hard that it feels like the only way out of the struggle is to die. Sometimes when everything goes wrong, it can feel like it is just too hard, <clears throat> way too hard to do another minute. And you no longer want to live. You may even feel that way in a part of you right now. That's okay. That part of you that goes to that thought, the pain-filled thought about wanting to die, about wanting to end your pain by dying, by simply quitting breathing, by not living. In your moment of sorrow and grief, disappointment or shame or exhaustion, you may begin by opening a door to the idea of dying. And you open you up to dreaming, daydreaming or night dreaming or both, dreaming a little bit about that possibility of it being over, of it being done, finished, and gone. Sadly, when you feel this empty, you can open the door to the idea of dying. Those are the times when you can't figure out your next step. Those are the moments that feel overwhelming. Yet those are also the moments when you have absolutely nothing left to draw on. Maybe in this helpless emptiness, you may feel that opening that door to suicide all of the way will end your suffering and end the pain. For a moment, suicide could feel like a simple way out of disappointing others that depend on you and care about you. Sometimes, sadly, suicide can seem like a perfect solution. Those are the moments when you are trapped in the old ways of looking at life 
as if there is no other choice left to you but to die. Suicide can even seem like it is the only way that you can end your pain and your disappointment and you do so forever. Or you may believe in reincarnation and you may think you can just end it and start over. But you must realize right here and right now that ending your life that way is not your destiny. That's not the answer for you, or you would not be here right now, right here, listening and seeing exactly what you need to understand. You need to understand that what you need, what you need is here, and yes, what you need is here for you to use, right here and right now and always will be. The help you sought is here. You know that I'm speaking the truth, don't you? I can tell that you do. I want you to know that you don't have to figure it all out right now. I just want you to also know and understand there's another way, another choice. And you can take this time now to open your mind to the freedom of another possibility. Go inside, deep inside you, and think of a time when you felt very alive, when you felt loving and joy. That moment was all there is. You didn't care in that moment about what other people thought. You were just at peace, enjoying, feeling, loving, just feeling like you're here and it's worth being here. There's a memory you have held on to just to use in this moment. I'm asking you to do it. Think of a time when you are beyond happy. Doesn't mean it happened often. It may be a long time ago. It's just that somewhere you felt happy. And if you need to for this very moment, for you to remind you of how being alive and loving feels, you can imagine something that you've seen on TV or in a movie or read about in a book and you really wished you had it for you. And in this moment, I'm going to suggest to you strongly that you pretend to have it, be in it, feel it so you know what it feels like and make that your promise to you, the goal that you set for you is that this is gonna become your reality. Like I said, if you think you have no memory of you ever feeling this way, it's not a problem. Again, I'm gonna say, just imagine like it was or is on a TV show, a movie or a memory of someone else you watched that felt so happy to be alive that you could see it all over them and you wanted the same feeling, the same thoughts, the same way of being alive that they have. You can imagine what it feels like to be that happy. And it will instantly feel like it is how you feel right here, right now. Just imagine it. Make it happen inside your body, inside your mind. Make it happen. Use your brain to do it. Good. Now feel it in every cell of your body. Enjoy this moment. Feel how good it feels to feel this free and this real and this alive. And know now it is real. The help you need it is here. It's in you for you. This is your aha moment. This is the moment when you finally feel free of all of the pain that came from thinking that you had no control over how badly you felt just a few minutes ago. You've already changed that. You now know the truth. Your brain is your strength that is always available to you to use as your tool to help you in any given moment, 
Your brain just needs to learn what to do, how to do it, and when to do it. And that's what we're here for. Brain Sweep can help your brain to learn what to do to save you from the pain of living. You can now allow this to be the new choice you go to whenever you're not sure of your next step. Remember, remember that you can remember that. You don't have to figure it all out in this moment or any other moment. Instead of exhausting you, learn to help you all day, every day. Just go to this place and bring the strength forward for you to help you. The strength to choose to use your imagination, your memories to help you instead of scare you. Right now, please instantly do it again. So your brain learns how quickly you can do it and how quickly it will help you. Remember laughing and start relaxing in your body now. Good, now focus on how good it feels to laugh. And feel how safe you feel to understand this is all you have to do when you're starting to feel bad or lose it your idea that life is worth anything or that you're worth anything. You simply have to use your mind to figure out a memory or you use your brain to make one up and imagine it so that in that moment you produce the chemicals that will help you. You will now be ready to listen and ready to grow. You will be ready to receive everything you need going forward with our person who is stepping up to help you to learn how to help yourself. That person's going to be here next after me. Right here, right now. It is time now for you to understand, for you to know for certain, it is time to close the door. It's time to close the windows. It is time to close up and seal every tiny crack, every crevice, every peephole everywhere in your safe room that possibly ever included the idea of condoning or accepting or allowing suicide as an answer. End it here. For you, for your loved ones, end it now. Begin you by saying, never again, never again will I ever Forget what I have learned today about what I have, my power, the insight to do what is right for me. Right now and always. You know that you can use the laughing technique to lift you up enough to get you to accept the help you need. You'll need to just learn to not wait, not postpone it. Any of it, you just do it as soon as you're feeling bad and do it for you, from you, whenever you need it. So never again will you ever need or want to hurt you or harm you or hurt the people who love you and care about you. Even when your negative chemicals can make you doubt it, you know this is the true truth. Never again is there a legitimate reason for you to choose to harm you or hurt you or worse, to choose to hurt the people who love you. Now, you've learned that there is a way to instantly feel better and stronger. I would like you to take a moment and see and feel each of the people who would have a really hard time surviving losing you. Think of them. See their faces in your mind. Remember them. Love them and care. I'm asking you to care enough to care about these people and know that you know that you have made the right choice, which is to close the door to suicide forever. Never again will you allow negative chemistry to fool you into believing suicide is an answer. Even the threat today, right here, right now, 
feel you closing the door to suicide forever and always for you and for everyone who cares about you. Lock it and seal it closed forever and always. Feel how good that feels to know you're finally safe, that you got help and more help is on the way. I want you to open your eyes awake and be fresh and relieved and knowing that you are finally safe and now you can accept the help you need and deserve for going forward. Step three is what you get to learn to use to help you forever. Get ready to meet someone who is ready to help you receive exactly what you need for you for every day going forward. And thank you for listening. Hi, welcome back. This is Susan. I am going to take you through the next stage of the Brain Sweep three-part system so that from this day forward, you will be able to relieve all of your negative stress in a healthy, beneficial way. In step three, you will quickly learn a simple method to activate your brain to end all of your mental and emotional struggles in minutes. Today, together, we will get done the death of the problem instead of the death of you. Any form of resisting, freezing, or seeking punishment will end here, today, right here, right now. I want you to think of your day, remember when and how you get stressed out, especially the stress that leads to bad choices, especially the stress that leads to you numbing you with alcohol, drugs, or even worse. Or the type of stress that causes you to be mean to you or your loved ones, especially the kind that causes you to feel rage or frustration that leads to risking harming you or others. Plus, the stress that leads to you wanting to run away from anyone and everything. Please watch me and learn the science of neurokinesis. Neurokinesis can be used anytime, anywhere on your body, but works the fastest and quickest when you use it to stimulate your brain to act on your body. The more you practice this simple technique, the more efficient you will get at focusing enough attention to make the technique make you feel relieved immediately. I'm going to teach you the hand technique. And this you can use anytime. Anytime you're feeling anxiety or worry or stress. You can do this in public. Um, it's sort of like wringing your hands so people won't be able to tell that you're doing anything that they need to pay attention to. So the first thing is you wanna cup your hands. So imagine that whatever you're stressing about or um, having anxiety about or worrying about, that you just put that in your hand. So you wanna cup your hand like you are holding it, like a, a little bit of water. And it's important to keep your thumb close, don't. Don't let your thumb come out. It's important that you keep your fingertips together. Your fingertips go directly to your brain and talk to your brain. So the fingertips, the hand cupped, and your thumbs in and close to your hand. So picture it like you're not letting water out. Um, if you have big rings on or a lot of jewelry, it's best to try to take those off. If you can't get them off, that's okay. Um, you know, 
just try to work around them and it'll still work. You don't have to worry about it being perfect. The more you do it, the easier it'll be, the more comfortable it'll feel, and uh, you won't really even have to think about it after a while if you practice it and, and apply it. So the first thing that um, I'm going to show you is exactly how you do it. Now, you always want to do right. Use your right hand first over the top of your left hand. And make sure you can see. So your fingertips are going to be on your thumb, cupping this hand and cupping this hand. And you're going to go over the top of your hand. Like, even think about if you were applying lotion. So you want to rub over the top of your hand with your little finger going over your knuckles all the way to the palm here and here on each of your hands so you're going to go to here and then you're going to slide that palm down and bring your thumb back over the top of your knuckles to here to where you started and come back up so it's going to actually be like a square you're going to go over, down, back, and over. So you're just drawing a square on the top of your hand. And then when you're done, you do a minimum of four, right over left, and a maximum of eight, right over left. And then when you're finished with that, then you go to the left hand. Same thing. You're going to cup, picture, in this put in your hand what you're worrying about start with your hand here and you're going to push away from you little finger going running over the top of your knuckles to the palms you're going to slide down drawing your square on the top of your hand and bring your thumb back over your knuckles until your fingertips get to here and slide back up so you've made that square again and you do a minimum of four and a maximum of eight. Always starting with your right hand over your left. Always keeping your fingers together and putting your story or your issue or your stress in the palm of your hand. I'm going to take you through a memory. And on a, we're going to do on a scale of one to five. Now, one being doesn't bother you a bit. Um, you know, when you think of it, you're just, you can just go on and, and it's gone and it doesn't bother you. Five being it stops you in your day. You may start to obsess on it. You may start to worry about it. It stops you from doing whatever it is that you were doing because this particular memory um, is so traumatic. Now, we're not going to deal with a five today. This is your, we're teaching your brain a skill. And so it needs to learn to be successful with that skill before you start dealing with fives. So if a five comes up, you know what? Just honor yourself, put it on a shelf, leave it up there on the shelf, just picture it on the shelf. And right now, I want you to think of something in the range of a two, something that um, is like an irritant. Um, but we're not going to deal with fives at first. We're going to teach your brain how to deal with and clear a two. So, um, think about it, come up with something that's around a two or three. And if you can think about that for a minute, come up with a scenario. Maybe it's that you're irritated with taking out the trash whatever it is but don't go with the big one um so i'm just going to assume that you have a story that is irritating to you and i want you to picture that story i want you to imagine it picture you being in it what it feels like think of a time or an emotion or a story that could have been yesterday it could have been way back when you were a kid or 
It could have been a month ago. The time doesn't matter. Just think of an emotion or a memory that is a level two, maybe level three. And I'm going to have you put that, that story or that emotion or that feeling in your hand. Just picture it. And we're going to start cupping your hands like I showed you with your fingertips, starting here, right over left. And if you want, you can close your eyes. It'll help you visualize. Just be calm. And start your hands. And you're going to go over the top with your little finger going over as if you're rubbing lotion on your hands. And go to the heel of your hand. Don't go past your wrist. And slide down and come back over, thumb over the knuckles, and make that square. Do it again, thinking about the memory, thinking about the feeling. I want you to picture it. Do your hands again. One more time over, which is the third time. Slide down, bring your hand back over your, top of your hand with your thumb over your knuckles. One more time, we're going the fourth time over. Pink little finger over your knuckles, focusing on that feeling or that memory. we we'll come down, bring your hand back over with your thumb going over your knuckles. Now that's four. Take a breath. We're gonna go to the other side. Take your left hand. Place your fingers on your thumb, the tips of your fingers. Focusing on that feeling or that story or that memory. Take your hand, your left hand, and now you're going over the top of your right hand with your little finger going over the knuckles to the heel of your hand. Don't go past your wrist. Bring it down. Bring your thumb and hand back towards you over your knuckles to your fingertips. That's one. Make sure you're cupping your hands. Make sure that you're holding that space, that energy inside your hand on your left. We're going to go over your hand again, over the top of your hand to the heel, not past your wrist. Down. Bring it back across your knuckles. That's two. We're going to go third time over to the heel of your hand, focusing on that story completely disappearing. It doesn't matter to you anymore. It can't hurt you anymore. Go back over the top of your hand with your little finger over your knuckles. Come down, slide across, back towards you with your thumb over your knuckles. Do one more pass. You're going to look for wisdom and the freedom to feel completely safe. And this can't hurt you anymore. That's four passes on each hand. When you're ready, open your eyes, take a deep breath, and see what number you can give it. Did you bring it down to one or zero? And if you didn't, just do it again. And I promise you, it'll work. Teach your brain this new skill. Now I'm going to demonstrate the brain sweep hand technique. And I'm going to take you through a quick demo of how to do it. Then we'll go through some thoughts and feelings that you can put under your hands for each section of your brain. And I'll walk you through that. But for to start, I want you to cup your hand. Make sure you hold that energy there. Put it over your forehead, and you're going to go up and to the left in a circle on your forehead, up and to the left with your right hand. And then we're going to go to the right side of your brain with the right hand, and you're going to go up and back and down in a circle four times. And then with your right hand, we're going to do the left side, same thing, up and back and back 
And then the right hand, you're gonna do your crown and you're gonna go to your left towards your fingers and back in a circle. To your left, towards your fingers and back. And then we're gonna do it, same thing, all areas of your brain with your left hand. So your left hand's gonna go over your forehead and you're gonna go up and to your left still, going away from your fingers and around four times. And then you're gonna to go to the, with your left hand now, the right side of your brain, right over your ear, up and back. Four times now, right hand, or left hand, right side of your brain, up and back. And then the crown, you know, right over the top. Think about that. And you're gonna go towards your fingers to your right with your left hand and back in a circle and back to your right and back around towards your fingers. Now I'm going to actually take you through uh, using the hand technique and the brain sweep with thoughts and feelings under your hand for each section of your brain. So I want you to start with your right hand, cupping your hand, put it over the top, of the front of your brain. And we're gonna do the circles and I want you to put these thoughts in your hands. So we're gonna start and go up and to the left is the first circle. Thoughts, make the circle, thoughts of harming yourself, thoughts of hurting yourself, thoughts of shame, thoughts of blaming yourself, okay? And we're gonna take your right hand and go to the right side, right over your ear, Thoughts of harming yourself, go all the way down. Thoughts of hurting yourself, thoughts of shame, thoughts of blaming yourself. I'm gonna take you, continue with your right hand, going to the left side. Thoughts of harming yourself, thoughts of hurting yourself, thoughts of shame, thoughts of blaming yourself. And we're gonna to go to the top. And you're going to go in a circle to your left and back with your right hand. Thoughts of harming yourself, thoughts of hurting yourself, thoughts of shaming yourself, thoughts of blaming yourself, and then down the back, down your spine, and release it out your tailbone. We're going to do that at the end of each time you go around the circle. So now I want you to take your left hand. Cupping your left hand, putting it on the front of your forehead. And you're gonna go in a circle up and to your left, away from your fingers. Let's do four. Thoughts of harming yourself, thoughts of hurting yourself, thoughts of shame, thoughts of blaming yourself. And now we're gonna take your left hand and go to the left side or right side of your brain. Thoughts of harming yourself, Thoughts of hurting yourself, thoughts of shame, thoughts of blaming yourself. Still with your left hand, you're going now to the left side of your brain. Thoughts of harming yourself, thoughts of hurting yourself, thoughts of shame, thoughts of blaming yourself. Left hand in the crown, you're gonna go towards your right side, towards your fingers, and then around to the back. Thoughts of harming yourself, thoughts of hurting yourself, thoughts of shame, thoughts of blaming yourself, and then remember to go down your spine and release it out your tailbone. With your right hand, go to the front of your brain, we're gonna work on some more thoughts and feelings. Start up and to the left, thoughts of negating your worth and value of others, thoughts of being scared, thoughts of being frightened, thoughts of disgracing yourself and your loved ones. Right hand to the right side. 
I'm going to start here. Thoughts of negating your worth and value of others, to others. Thoughts of being scared. Thoughts of being frightened. Thoughts of disgracing you or your loved ones. Right hand to the left side. Thoughts of negating your worth and value to others. Thoughts of being scared. Thoughts of being frightened. Thoughts of being disgraced, seeing you or your loved ones. Now the crown. We're gonna go in a circle to your left and back. Thoughts of negating your worth and value to others. Thoughts of being scared. Thoughts of being frightened. Thoughts of disgracing you or your loved ones. And down the back, down your spine, and release it out the end of your tailbone. So your left hand over your forehead will be going up and to the left still. Thoughts of negating your worth and value to others. Thoughts of being scared. Thoughts of being frightened. Thoughts of disgracing you or your loved ones. And you're gonna take your left hand and go to the right side. Thoughts of negating your worth and value to others. Thoughts of being scared. Thoughts of being frightened. Thoughts of disgracing you and your loved ones. Left hand, left side of your brain. Thoughts of negating you, your worth and your value to others. Thoughts of being scared. Thoughts of being frightened. Thoughts of disgracing you and your loved ones. To the top. We're going to go in a circle to the right and back, towards your fingers and back. Ready? Thoughts of negating your worth and value to others. Thoughts of being scared. Thoughts of being frightened. Thoughts of disgracing you or your loved ones. And go down your spine and release it out the end of your tailbone. Hand again and make sure you cup it to hold the energy. The more you cup it, the better. We're gonna put it over your forehead. I'm gonna go up and around to the left. Ready? Any form of self-punishment, any form of justification of self-punishment, any and all form of self-condemnation and isolation, any and all forms of deception, addiction, or defiance. Okay, now we're gonna to go to the right side and do these a little slower because it takes a little bit longer. So, any form of self-punishment, any form of justification of self-punishment, any and all forms of self-condemnation or isolation, any and all forms of deception, addiction, and defiance. Now we're taking your right hand still and going to the left side. We're gonna go up and back. Any and all forms of punishment, any and all forms of justification of self-punishment, any and all forms of self-condemnation and isolation, any and all forms of deception, addiction, and defiance. And we're going to the top and you're gonna to circle to your left and back. Any form of self-punishment, any form of justification of self-punishment, any and all forms of self-condemnation and isolation, any and all forms of deception, addiction, and defiance, and go down your spine and release it out the end of your tail. Now we're going to the left hand. Put it over your forehead. You're gonna go up and still to the left and around. So you're going away from your fingers this time. Ready? Any form of self-punishment, any form of justification of self-punishment, any and all forms of self-condemnation and isolation, any and all forms of deception, addiction, and defiance. Okay, left hand right hemisphere, so you're going across here to the right now. Any form of self-punishment, 
any form of justification of self-punishment, any and all forms of self-condemnation or isolation, any and all forms of deception, addiction, and defiance. Left hand on the left side of your brain. Hold it right over your ear. We're going to go back. Any form of self-punishment, any form of justification of self-punishment, any and all forms of self-condemnation in isolation, any and all forms of deception, addiction, and defiance. Now with your left hand, you're gonna to go to the top, right in the top of your crown, and you're gonna to go to your right and back in a circle. Ready? Any form of self-punishment, any form of justification of self-punishment, any and all forms of self-condemnation and isolation, any and all forms of deception, addiction, and defiance. And remember to go down your spine and release it out of your tailbone. Now, number 13 is gonna be different. I'm gonna say the same thing four times. And we're just gonna go around each section of the brain with the right hand and then the left. Cupping your hand over your forehead, up and to the left. Any and all forms of delaying your immediate success. Any and all forms of delaying your immediate success. Any of all forms of delaying your immediate success. Any and all forms of delaying your immediate success. Let's go right hand to the right side. Any and all forms of delaying your immediate success, any and all forms of delaying your immediate success, any and all forms of delaying your immediate success, any and all forms of delaying your immediate success. Right hand to the left side. Any and all forms of delaying your immediate success, any and all forms of delaying your immediate success, any and all forms of delaying your immediate success, any and all forms of delaying your immediate success. Going to the crown, we're gonna go in a circle to the left and back. Any and all forms of delaying your immediate success. Any and all forms of delaying your immediate success. Any and all forms of delaying your immediate success. Any and all forms of delaying your immediate success. Go down your spine and release that out your tailbone. Four more to do. These are kind of long, so it's okay to take your time doing those circles. Make sure that you continue to cup your hands and keeping your fingers in. Okay? We're going to start with the forehead. Going up and to the left in a circle. Any and all forms of resistance to learning to replace punishment with positive discipline. And know this, from this moment forward, any form of failing is no longer an option. Ending any silence or secret contract with the self that includes punishment. Ending any contract that contains any sense of any obligation to lose something or someone that means everything to you. Okay. We're gonna do this on the right side with the right hand. Any and all forms of resistance to learning to replace punishment with positive discipline. And know this from this moment forward, any form of failing is no longer an option. Ending any silent or secret contract with the self that includes punishment. Ending any contract that contains any sense of an obligation to lose something or someone that means everything to you. Okay, right hand on the left side. We're gonna do the circles again. Any and all forms of resistance to learning to replace punishment with positive discipline. And know this from this moment forward, any form of failing is no longer an option. Ending any silent or secret contract with the self that includes punishment. 
ending any contract that contains any sense of an obligation to lose something or someone that means everything to you. Okay, now we're going to go to the top of the crown and you're going to circle to the left and back. Any and all forms of resisting to learning to replace punishment with positive discipline. And know this from this moment forward, any form of failing is no longer an option. Ending any silent or secret contract with the self that includes punishment. Ending any contract that contains any sense of an obligation to lose something or someone that means everything to you and send it down your spine and release it out your tailbone. All right, we're gonna go through this with the left hand over the forehead and you're gonna go up and to the left away from your fingers and around. Ready? Any and all forms of resistance to learning to replace, replace punishment with positive discipline. And know this from this moment forward, any form of failing is no longer an option. Ending any silent or secret contract with the self that includes punishment. Ending any contract that contains any sense of any obligation to lose something or someone that means everything to you. We're gonna take the left hand and go to the right side. Any and all forms of resist to learning to replace punishment with positive discipline. And know this from this moment forward, any form of failing is no longer an option. Ending any silent or secret contract with the self that includes punishment. Ending any contract that contains any sense of any obligation to lose something or someone that means everything to you. Left hand on the left side of your brain. Here we go. Any and all forms of resistance to learning to replace punishment with positive discipline. And know this from this moment forward, any form of failing is no longer an option. Ending any silent or secret contract with the self that includes punishment. Ending any contract that contains any sense of any obligation to lose something or someone that means everything to you. Back to the crown. We're gonna go in a circle to your right and back, towards your fingers and back. Any and all forms of resistance to learning to replace punishment with positive discipline. And know this from this moment forward, any form of failing is no longer an option. Ending any silent or secret contract with the self that includes punishment. Any, any contract that contains any sense of an obligation to lose something or someone that means everything to you and down your spine and release it out your tailbone. Okay, let's go with the right hand again. We have four more and then we're done. Cup in your hand over your forehead. You're gonna go up and to your left and around. New contract with the self for right here, right now. Moving forward. The new contract is you will prove to yourself and every single person that cares about you that you start your day knowing enough about you to discipline you without harming you. To listen and learn and learn to listen to what you are doing right for the right reasons and do your day that way. So when you lay your head down at night, you can use your sleep to keep you healthy and well for the sake and for those that love and care about you now and forever. Okay, right hand to the right side. These are long, so just take them slow, but listen to what I'm saying. 
hold your cup your hand new contract with the self for right here right now moving forward the new contract is you will prove to yourself and every single person that cares about you, you that you start your day knowing enough about you to discipline you without harming you. To listen and learn to listen to what you are doing right for the right reasons and do your day that way. So when you lay your head down at night, you can use your sleep to keep you healthy and well for the sake of for those that love and care about you now always and forever still using your right hand we're going to the left side new contract with self for the right here right now moving forward New contract is you will prove to yourself and every single person that cares about you that you start your day knowing enough about you to discipline you without harming you. To listen and learn and learn to listen to what you are doing right here for the right reasons and do your day that way. So when you lay your head down at night, you can use your sleep to keep you healthy and well for the sake and for the, those that love you and care about you, now and always and forever. Now we're taking the right hand, we're doing the top of the crown, we're almost done. Stick with it, it's important and you're gonna go to your left and circle back with the right hand. New contract with the self for right here, right now and moving forward. The new contract is you will prove to yourself and every single person that cares about you that you start your day knowing enough about you to discipline you without harming you. To listen and learn and learn to listen to what you are doing right for the right reasons and do your day that way. So when you lay your head down at night, you can use your sleep to keep you healthy and well for your sake as for those that love and care about you. Now, always and forever going down your spine and release it out your tailbone. Okay, we're gonna do the left hand and you're gonna go up into the left side of your brain away from your fingers. Ready? New contract with self for right here, right now, moving forward. The new contract is you will prove to yourself and every single person that cares about you that you start your day knowing enough about you to discipline you without harming you. To listen and learn and learn to listen to what you are doing right here for the right reasons and do your day that way. So when you lay your head down at night, you can use your sleep to keep you healthy and well for your sake and for those that love you and care about you now, always, and forever. Okay, left hand on the right hemisphere. New contract with self for the right here, right now, moving forward. New contract is you will prove to yourself and every single person that cares about you that you start your day knowing enough about you to discipline you without harming you to listen and learn and learn to listen to what you are doing for the right reasons and do your day that way. So when you lay your head down at night, you can use your sleep to keep you healthy and well for your sake and for the sake of those who love and care about you now, always and forever. Now let's go to the left hand, to the left hemisphere. New contract with self for the right here, right now, and move forward. The new contract is you will prove to yourself every single person 
that cares about you that you start your day knowing enough about you to discipline you without harming you. To listen and learn and learn to listen to what you are doing right for the right reasons and do your day that way. So when you lay your head down at night, you can use your sleep to keep you healthy and well for the sake, for, for your sake, for those that love you and care about you now, always and forever. Now let's go to the top of the crown. This is the last one. Ready? We're at the top of the crown and you're going to go to your right and back towards your fingers and back. New contract with self for right here, right now, moving forward. The new contract is you will prove to yourself and every single person that cares about you that you start your day knowing enough about you to discipline you without harming you. To listen and learn and learn to listen to what you are doing right for the right reasons and do your day that way. So when you lay your head down at night, you can use your sleep to keep you healthy and well for your sake and for those that love and care about you. Now, always and forever, going down your spine, all the way, releasing out your tailbone. Good job. You can use these skills every day. Just watch the videos and we're here to walk you through it anytime you need it. And I want to thank you for listening and participating. I have a team of trained professionals who can help you going forward from this moment on. This is Susan and you can reach me at my email which is susancoaching at hotmail.com or you can reach me at my website which is called yesyoucancoaching.com.